to the Not So Travelling Introvert. Today we're going to talk about focus and ways that we don't think about to help us focus, or maybe we do think about or know about, we just need a little bit of reminder. So a lot of us are probably finding it really hard to focus these days for a variety of reasons, from having to change from working in the office to working from home, or even from working from home to working in the office, to the state of the world today. But here are some things that I want to talk about that might help you feel better overall and will help with your focus. Exercise. Studies have shown consistently that regular exercise significant, significantly improves your focus and concentration. And it's more like moderate exercise frequently. So just a few short walks throughout the day. And the motion of walking itself can help you improve your focus and take a break. Um, standing at your desk or taking a short walk in between your doing maybe pomodoros and stretching before and after work. Uh, unplugging. Um, a really source, a huge source of lack of focus is the barrage of technology communications and, and pings and notifications that we get every day. So a good way to help you retain focus is to unplug for a set period of time each day. Turn everything off and engage yourself in some activity that is not tech related. Um, another thing is sleep. We underestimate just how much sleep we need and how valuable it is for our bodies. One or two nights of bad sleep can really, really affect things moving forward. So try and make sure that you get into a regular sleep hygiene habit. Taking breaks. You can never take too many breaks in general. You should take a break from work at least once per hour, even if it's just to give your eyes a break from the screen or to stand up to move around. These should be short breaks where you just get away from the task at hand for a few minutes to give your mind a chance to refresh. We as humans are not made to work eight hours in a row just staring at a screen or whatever it is that you might be doing. We need to take breaks. It's good for us to take break. If you feel and you take a break after you already feel burnt out, it's much harder to recover. The key is to take short breaks before you even feel tired. It's topping up your cup of energy so it doesn't get fully depleted. Taking a break before you feel the need to will help you keep up your momentum. Um, I am not a coffee drinker, but I do know that I've read enough that a lot of people drink coffee. Coffee is like the, the thing of choice, right? Or other caffeinated beverages, especially when you're stuck behind a computer screen. We think that, uh, you know, your caffeine gives your brain a boost and helps you get more things done, but it can easily go the other way and make you hyper jittery and destroying your ability to focus. Uh, the key for making caffeine work for you is to use it in moderation. Studies show that a little bit of caffeine helps the brain to function more efficiently um, but too much caffeine can lead to fatigue and loss of concentration. So just think about how much coffee and caffeine you intake and how that affects you and how you feel. On the other hand, drink water. Water is the great alternative to coffee. And uh, fluids, especially water, help you maintain your energy level. Dehydration leads to reduced focus as well as you know, other problems further down the, the road. Some people get headaches or nausea. Um, I have found it difficult to drink a lot of water. I love water. Once I start drinking water, I'm great. But having that first drink of water in the morning is really hard for me. So I've employed sort of uh, habit trackers and notifications and reminders to make me drink water. So these are just some things that uh, you can think about to help you with your focus. Also routines and little subtle cues for your brain to know when it's work time and when it's not work time. <clears throat> is really helpful. And setting up routines is means that it's one less thing for your brain to have to think about. And therefore you go on autopilot, just like when you get up in the morning, brush your teeth, shower, that sort of thing, you're on autopilot. The more routines that you can build into your everyday life, the easier it is for your brain and the more brain space you have for actual decision making and creativity. So um, that's something to think about. Another thing is when we wake up, most of us probably like switch off the alarm on our phone and then start scrolling or Instagramming or like whatever it is. Try to maybe have a separate alarm and then don't be on technology to start your day and see how that feels. Give yourself time to wake up, time to breathe. Well, thank you for listening. This is Janice at thecareerintrovert.com helping you build your brand, get focused and get hired. Have a great rest of your week. <laughs>